Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued let's play of the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. Our redemption run. It is our goal to try to get as many positive outcomes as we can while avoiding the specter of death. Well, so far, I, I think it's going well. But who knows what dark turns await us. Let's go. I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day today. The Phantom of Cedar still. Steel. 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 I can say that word, I swear. So long. I thought we were going to have a production meeting before we shoot. The band's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh huh. Excited. Hey, right on time. <laughs> time to get cooking. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. Just. Try to keep a low profile. Bonnie's snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No, tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and yes, I had some help from my uh, assistant. <laughs> I ain't, please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. Team jersey, represent. This is this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. You want to wear the stripes? You got to earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, uh, yeah, so... Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah. And Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. A legacy of pain. Uh, so dude. Don't want to hurt our relationship. Guess not. It's definitely not something you see every day. That's what I'm counting on. Wait, so shouldn't we head out? Yes, right. So slight change of plans. What? When Robert and I dug into all these articles, we realized there might be an opportunity to find some places in the mill that could be even more directly connected to stone where we can shoot. So it'll just take us a few minutes to look through. That's not going to leave us a lot of time. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Especially if this is our only chance to go back to the mill. Checked it. Look around the garage and then talk to Linda. Hi, May. How's the call? Mom's finally getting out. Can't wait. Mom will be home Sunday. Bond. Here, why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge I'm place. Sure no one was sad to why, see it I'm go. Sure there's gotta be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. The end of an era. Cedar's steel mill like permanently closed August 24th, 1967. 
The Cedar Still Mill, once the industrial heartbeat of our town, is to be permanently closed after over 40 Here, years of almost continuous operation. Mill projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it goes into the mindset of the workers. People were depressed. There were suicides. At the mill? Not at the mill, but like people who worked there or got laid off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murders started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12-hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention Frank... I don't know. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was, or, or why he did what he did, or something. That's your expert opinion? <laughs> it's just a hunch. Founded by Howard Kinsey Tester in 1921, the mill in its wartime heyday produced high-quality steel that was distributed across the nation. Mr. Tester's legacy was honored by his daughter Morgan in a statement given on Wednesday morning. Too. What's that? Obituaries from around the time of the murders and a little before. Oh, good thinking. Morgan Tester's statement suggests that the family's decision to close the mill permanently had been taken out of respect for the memories of those murdered on this permit by its former employer Stone. Not everyone is convinced by his justification, however. Journalists sure can't get enough of Frank Stone. Secrets of Killer Stone come to light September 16, 1963. As Cedar Hills tries to make sense of recent events at the Cedar Steel Mill, more disturbing details are starting to emerge about the man at the center of the scandal. 36-year-old Mackinus, Frank Stone, who was shot dead by police during a violent altercation last Friday. Stone, who our own Sheriff Kusich is linking with multiple unsolved disappearances over the last three years, has been described by those who knew him as a loner, creep, and oddball. Most shocking are the growing rumors that Stone was taken on by Cedar Steel and its owners, the Tester family, despite a prior police record for violence. Frank Stone committed I several murders prior to the carry out Frank Stone Stone stuff. Tom Holt interview. Oracle of the Universe. Guru B Connor Barnham. Do you feel trapped? Are you living a life or merely surviving it? Does this universe satisfy you or are you left seeking a deeper truth beyond this reality. By harnessing the deep knowledge within this book gleaned by Guru Barnham from his studies of those tribes close to his enlightenment, you too can assimilate the wisdom of the ancient design and merge from the cocoon of ignorance to soar on wings of cosmic bliss like a butterfly or of enlightenment. It was through my own practices, learned from my journeys through the American interior, that I successfully elevated my consciousness to the point I was able to visualize another Cedar Hills, one beyond the veil of our reality. This little town seems so very much like my own, yet so fascinatingly different in countless subtle ways. To give one example, the Calhoun family still owned the drugstore, but the manager behind the counter was none other than young George, the son who died so tragically some years ago. He was in healthy middle age, a season of life I never knew he had reached. This makes a lot more sense now. I do Omniverse? Far out. I do two conclusions from my meditative voyage. One that every journey through life offers almost incalculable variation. And while we may each have only infinite or finite possibilities on our own journeys, there may be other journeys taken by mere versions of ourselves that visit all destinations. Two, the different plates of reality are not so much separate rivers running in parallel as they are interconnected tributaries flowing to a single vast ocean of experience and possibility. To explore this idea further, we must consider some. Oh, that's the end of the page, darn. Oracle of the Omniverse. That, that makes a whole lot more sense. Like, like, everything in this game seems to make a whole lot more sense if you just. You know, if you just play the game once. Because they're like, oh yeah, that's that. Oh yeah, that's that. Oh yeah, that's that. Yeah. Yeah. I can remember it clear as a bell. Don't think I've ever experienced anything like that, Mac. Before or since. And don't reckon I ever will again. Heck, I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green. The man's a hero. 
Damn shame that no good share is taking all the credit. Damn crying shame. He all but gave up on finding stone at the mill. Sam Green, he knew better. He came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well, there'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took Stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. I'm kind of sad we didn't hear this recording in our Ruthless run. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Because wow. it would be interesting to they see the differences. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. Holt passed. Uh, guys? Hello? There it is. I didn't want to say anything. But I'm sometimes blind, okay? I'm just not a fan <laughs> of this. Mm, understandable. Concerned or insecure? Ugh, I don't like either one of these, to be honest. Um, let's go for insecure. Do you think I should worry about how tight they're getting after like one day? She barely knew Robert existed, and now they're inseparable. They're friends, Jaime. But sometimes friends both long for something more, something passionate, something. Okay, stop. <laughs> I've been thinking about something for the movie. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. That she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. Uh, I don't want to say petty. I want to say petty. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks. Me too. Oh, yes! Huh? What is... It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah! What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people, company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, <laughs> let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. I love our enthusiasm in this game. It's just, it just, it, it's so cool, you know? Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, I present. Okay, the once again, the wing right. There it is. Is not in our cutting room floor. You see the creek down there. The problem though is I've explored that, the right side, right I believe. Secret entrance. So if I want to get all the collectibles, I gotta go left. I don't see it. That's why. Uh, I hate how my first playthrough didn't carry over to my idiocy yes, and the way they set it up. You. Ready? I'll blame both. Why not? I blame both. Oh, careful. First I blame myself and I blame the game. <laughs> I take responsibility. <sighs> All right. This way.
Find the entrance to the storm drain. Breathe in. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Frankstone actually. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut Two you off. Two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard. They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also gonna take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? Going to Let's climb. Let's this as simple as possible and not waste any time. Okay, okay. We just have to be careful about my dad. We will. Hop on over. Because once again, it's just one of the things. Sorry about that momentary delay. My laptop was beeping. I don't know if you heard it in the background, but I went over there just to meet it. Your patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hello? I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, Nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my Jeez. dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. It had a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Damn. That is a cool title. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? Mother Daughter Ring. She says she has found the Red Evil, the source of the rock corroding the town. Now I just gotta hope I found the we other one in the other path. Around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally. Yeah. We're good, right? Anything else to talk about? Okay, good. I do think I got the other one because I had to like, I had to like jump over a, jump over onto like a small island or something. Why did I just say like like 15 times? Sorry about that. Did not mean to do that. I had to jump over a pillar or a island thing. Anyone there? Uh, getting too old for this. He won't come back this way again. Let's go. This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. Nothing over here. I don't think I ever took the time to explore this area well. Doesn't seem like there's much to explore. It's mostly very, very straightforward. This is such a cool shot right here. I think that was one of my thumbnails, I don't remember. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not gonna fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, well, the flashlights. Uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always. <laughs> Be prepared.
Let's go. We must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? Who put this stuff up on the walls? <laughs> there was one time when I was little and he was really drunk. Even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. Coming over here? Yep. Who is hey. this here? A specter that stalks the fog. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I need to hurry. I need to hurry. Huh, you're a little key. I need to hurry. I need to hurry. I need to hurry very, very quickly. Because I haven't locked in this room before because Better someone stood in the doorway. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene. But if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. Like how she says that right in front of Linda. I'm stuck. Are you kidding me? Okay, good, good, good. I'm not stuck. I just don't know if I'm going the right direction or not. Nope, I'm not because there was that, um... Yep, I'm not going the right direction. Uh, let me look at that real quick. Do I have three left now? Yes, I have three left now. All right. What is the key that. for? He didn't talk to me like a little kid or like my dad got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, Don't wonder how he gets these scars? Like real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face. Right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. No shit. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. What is that? That's mean? the truth. Every time I've ever brought it up, he gets that look in his eye. The dead end. Yeah, that's the giant dead end. Okay, so, every time I've ever brought it up, gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. You sound disappointed. No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Me too. Nearly there. Gotta love a scenic route. Any major plans for after we graduate? Uh, I haven't given it much thought. Not like you. What makes you think I have? I can just tell. The film, the directing, it's in your blood. And your blood? You want to be a cop like your dad? No way. I don't see anything here. Whatever happened okay. behind me? So, all we know no is way. he died. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Before he ever Before met Madison. Oh. I thought you just liked hanging out around haunted mills. You don't really think it's haunted. That looks blocked off now. Look at that. 
Okay. Tim that. So, you don't really think it's haunted. Don't I? It's what the Knock symbols. One thing I don't like so much about the movement in this game is it's a little bit jerky at times. I think this is it. It's got this gliding effect. Where you kind of get stuck on people. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. Yeah, that's normal. And cut! How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville! Let it go, everybody! <clears throat> Aww. Disapproving or insistent? Insistent. Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. Yo, you coming? Uh, yeah, be right there. Did you see something? No, it was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back then. <laughs> okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Ah, get off me. Gotcha. Not ah, cool, boy. Disagree. Not cool. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I may. Uh, um, Bonnie. I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know? A and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I mean, uh... <clears throat> Linda? Uh... Could go either way on this one. Let's go for me. I get the feeling Bonnie's going to do what Bonnie's going to do, no matter what we say. And that's that. Well, okay. Are we just going to stand around or are we going to make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. Okay. Here we can finally do something that I've never been able to do. Just use the crowbar. I know where the crowbar is. Fear of the future.
there. Not there. Except this box was just completely useless. Why is that like everywhere though? Do they really need that everywhere? Okay, somehow I just went backwards through the fence. Don't know how that happened, but whatever. That's the way to go. Where the heck? Oh! Big open area right here. I'm such a dummy. I didn't even see this giant area. Got a little hole there. So I don't think I use a key there. I think I use a crowbar there. What's that? Probably over here where we left it. Right there. There it is. Because I broke it in both my playthroughs, so that was never there. Very, very tricky game. I like it. I like it a lot. Think of something that was used way back when has such importance you know, all the way over here. Is that? Is that? I, I just saw something. Right there, on the floor. What an Oni mask. Finally, she has come back to me, and she is happy. Alright, one step closer. Step closer. Okay. Let's head back now. So I wonder what this key is for. That's not. It. Okay. No, yeah, it's just this is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know. It's different. There's a lot of hidden things in this place. I'm pretty sure I've already gotten this thing. You gotta come back here later or something. Yeah, that thing there. You gotta come back here later. To use this. Feel like you do. Feel like I remember seeing that. Or I should say, I feel like I remember getting that on my first playthrough. What was that? What was that? The heck? Is that for the thing? I could have sworn I got that a different way before. Or am I mistaken? Probably mistaken. Probably definitely mistaken. I 
could have swore I did this though. Like I could have swore I got this item on another on one of my playthroughs. The blighted rat. Five names I have taken, but I feel no closer to the path. Guys? Guys? There we go. Nope. Oh, there we go. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set. And action. There's something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you, too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save Mom and Dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. <sighs> and cut! Creepy. I know I've said that before, but it's creepy. Sick. Totally. Felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound at Jaime's anyway. How'd I do? It was perfect. Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. <laughs> you impressions me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. Hot damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed. But, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? I liked it better when you were gone. Oh. Harsh. Casual? Hey, uh, Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever.
So, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me, also. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but we're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, the machine shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. Holy... What can you see? Uh, something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I I'll try shooting a little. Whoa! Ain't that something? You notice how it's coming into her. Ah, rats. Or the camera. Camera needs cranking. Hold on. Didn't really notice that before. <sighs> that did it. Okay, let me get more. <sighs> Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. <laughs> door will take us to the machine shop only one way to find out well, let's go take a look My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, as long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walkings. Dead end. Not this... Why is it always okay. clown? <laughs> I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to I get it? I remember it's showing up. I didn't get a message. Yeah, I didn't get a message. Like clown and then a description. Most of the dialogue pitched it out. What do you mean? Uh, it's it's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty Yes, weird. I can probably uh, okay, use this. Elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was doing it. why I had the key before and I couldn't use it here. He sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional. Like acupuncture with all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. What did I do? There's something over here, too. There's a red box. Can't go that way. Where the heck do I move this red box to? There's a yellow cloth over here, which seems... You know adventure games, yellow cloth... Yellow means... 
Yes, I was right. Yellow is like the thing they use in all the video games to say you can climb on something. Huh. How about that? Something on the... Nope. Not something on the floor. It's a squeeze. Oh, God. Yes, I made it first try. I remember playing Legend of Dragoon and like messing that up so many times. Hmm. I, I don't know what's down, so let's go down. There's another way to go to the left as well. Okay, we've been here. I don't know why I moved that platform there. Oh, I moved the platform so I could jump across. Oh, okay. Saw the puzzle without even noticing it, but there's another thing that I have to move. Yep, yep, I did not solve the puzzle. I solved half of the puzzle, which is not solving the puzzle, but you know what? It, I, I solved the puzzle. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> there's another one we have to move back here. Now we should be able to jump across. Wow, so you had to get a key. Then you had to do some platforming. Then you had to do some balancing. It's a lot of stuff you had to do for this. Oh, oh, oh. Game? What's going on? You're not showing my things anymore. I want to read what that said, dang it! Ah, uh, marger, gur, gur, gur. I I'll admit, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a wee bit frustrating. <laughs> Cause I like reading all those things. I, I can read them in um, the collections at the end of the game. I, I know I can't, so it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, Flightless. It's it's all good. It's it's all good. Did I get everything in here? I I would assume I got everything in here. I mean, we got like two collectibles, right? Wait a second, guys, this is it. That's a long chapter. This is the machine shop. Holy crap, it is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article... It's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. <laughs> if Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way. Come on. Gotta be a way to get up there. Close the door. See anything over here? I know I need parts for the generator, right? Go ahead and activate this dialogue. This should open the door, right? Maybe there's something useful in there. I need the key. Don't go that way. We need to go to the generator. Not 
think there's anything here. Broken? Looks like, yeah. Uh, let me take a look. <clears throat> hey, can I ask you something, man? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works. Yeah, I mean, you're an awesome dude. It's just yeah, it's Chris's I mean, movie. You know, I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not. That, that, that wasn't. Um, wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like. I don't know. Point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like. Just us. So I'm just in the way. Man. Not all, dude. You're awesome. We love you, man. Um, are you making a move? I'm like, ah, I hate both of these options. Why are both these options so aggressive? Ah. All right. Look, the truth is, all night I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris. And it hasn't been easy. You're annoyed that Chris doesn't want to run off and make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. That's not what I said. It's not my fault she's more focused on her work than you, man. Give me a break. What's up, party people? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. I saw a key in there. Think it could be useful? Could be, yeah. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. I, I know we're almost an hour, but I want to make sure I complete this section before we stop. This might work with the generator. Someone's back here somewhere, I think. Could yep. help with the generator. So how hard are these uh, thingamajigs in actual day by daylight? Like when you compare the difficult settings of this game to Dead by Daylight, those who have played Dead by Daylight, how difficult are those? Uh, QTE sequences. And I know probably in DVD you want to hit all the whites you can because a killer is hunting you, right? But like just how difficult is it to hit these things? Power door. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Find a way into the office. Yeah, you see, there's a yellow thing up here, too. Look at that. I didn't notice this before, but yeah, there, there's a yellow thing over here, too.
believe they got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. Here. Okay. What have we here? So, what do you unlock, little key? Find anything? Yep. It's got a label on it. F stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh, man. Let's see if the key unlocks the box car. Yeah, I never noticed all those yellow blankets. I'm gonna be really excited for the next episode we do because that's the ex that's the episode where uh Chris gets sucked into time and the high meat gets shredded hopefully not this time though can you all move please you gotta be kidding me oh wait wait it's not about them moving I gotta do this Uh, I'll go first. I'll go first. Easy as one, two, three. Let's see if I can actually catch this guy. That easy? So I don't think I've ever caught him. Yeah! Critical it too. Thanks, man. That would not have been a pleasant way to go. I would not have wanted to break it to your dad. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. Yo, check it. Wow. Right through the wall. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Damn. Is that a... Yeah. And it's got friends. <sighs> this is insane. Must have come loose when the freight broke through. Melvite Snowpork, Cedar Steel Corporation, Machine Shop and Repair, Cedar Hills, Oregon, Log MS815. Who are these other people? Parker D. No, want to get close. Feel every blow. Hear the screams. E. Kessler. This time, make it last. Better control. For the next small cuts, deep clean, taste their fear. A creature forged to purge the world, use what's at hand. No, not what I see at night. Inspired terror. Cut us fix. I do like the mask. It's pretty intimidating. A hatch. This must be how Stone got in and out. Coward's son and friend this murdered. So connected Frank Stone to this. Calhoun's son and friend murdered state police Monday, September 17th, 1962. Following several days of rumors and speculation, Sheriff Lloyd Kusich last night confirmed he is treating the deaths of George Calhoun and Joyce Barton at Hawkline Point last Thursday night as double murder. George Calhoun, 28, Southern Cedar Hills, respected drugstore proprietor William Calhoun and his friend Joyce Barton died after the car crashed and caught fire. Deputies have been working tirelessly over the weekend and have now determined that Mr. Calhoun's car was parked when it left the road, indicating the involvement of third party. The news of another murder is our peaceful community represents a shock for us all. Coming so soon in the wake of the July killing of widow Dorothy Clay. 
But as in that episode, when Miss Clay's nephew, Elmo, was caught and convicted following a rapid investigation by Sheriff Cusage, we must all hope and pray for a swift and just outcome. Okay, now we can get the uh, jar here. Yes. Oh, what is it? Oh. Damn. Did you all not see the hand I picked I up earlier? One of Stone's victims there. Powder. 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 I don't think the police ever found this place. How do you know? Because they wouldn't have just left all this stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. We can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You want to fuck with that? But the movie? The movie's done. I thought you were... Robert's right. We should get the sheriff. We got what we need. <laughs> Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? We should get the hell out of here. I don't think there's anything else in here. Wow, she's actually... Is that emotion there that she did? I wonder if she's actually worried now. We gotta go. We should wait outside uh, until Robert comes back. Um, ah, I don't want to hear. I mean, that's if it's less forward. Uh, do you think moving that's such a good idea? No way, I'm not getting a shot of this thing. Yeah, but it's like evidence. Nobody can prove we knew that before we got the shot. Plausible deniability, man. I don't think that's what that means. Well, I won't tell if you don't. I'm just not cool with this. Okay, noted. Don't you care at all how I feel? Of course I care how you feel. If that were true, you'd have noticed how hard it's been for me while you run around with Robert. While I run around with Robert? Dude, I'm dating you, not Robert. Doesn't feel like it. Well, I have to watch you and Linda half the time. Don't you care how I feel? Me and... Come on. That's not even remotely the same. We've been friends since kindergarten. And in all that time, neither of you even felt remotely attracted to each other? Dismissive. No. No way. N not possible. I We're like brother and sister. Uh-huh. I'm serious. It's not like that. It, it can't be like that with us. Sometimes the hardest thing to accept is the truth. Look, man, I gotta get this shot before Robert comes back with his dad. Oh, wait, does, it, does this scene happen now? I, I forgot when this scene happened. I thought it happened... Like at the next chapter or something. Oh, yes! I'm so excited. Let's go!
is so freaky, it just has bones. Alright, well, let's hope I wasn't steered wrong about this. Front. Let's go. Oh, we got firecrackers now. Oh, I almost messed that up because I didn't expect it. Oh. Now, you know what would have been cool? If we could like go after her and we grabbed her and she pulled us in and Jaime got sent to the future as well. Because then that would be a totally different situation based on like just getting, you know, one item and confronting on a very specific time. My name is the Flightless Bird. This is your is Gaming Channel. And this is a continued let's play of the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. Unfortunately, no differences there, but, 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 um, ooh, ooh, I just realized something. I'm gonna have to play this again. Uh, not fully, but I'm gonna have to play this again. Because I'm gonna have to play this again because Chris is staying in the future. I'm gonna have to play this again to send her back into the past, so that way we can get the reunion with her and Chris. I mean, her and Jaime. Her and Chris. Uh, her and Jaime. Uh, because otherwise I'm not going to see the emotional scene of them, of her being like, oh, you try to save me, my hero. Oh, well, that, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. That, that, that sounds like fun. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. I will talk to you again very soon. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go... Please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.